Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and of course uh, this week we're gonna be looking at the RTL SDR dongles. I want to mention a few things. So here is my RTL SDR V3 uh, but there are two versions of well more than two but as a simple explanation there's two versions of the RTL SDR dongles out there. There's one which is a very basic RTL SDR dongle and it was made for a type of um, TV high definition broadcasting in Asia. Somebody somewhere found a way to do a driver that unlet, you know, kind of unlocks the frequency coverage of that little dongle and makes you listen to VHF UHF range on it. The basic one is usually around $10, even less, and it doesn't cover shortwave. So if you're looking at the $10 one and you think, oh, I want to have shortwave, it doesn't cover shortwave. There is a hack for shortwave, but don't do it. You're wasting your money and time if you want to have some performance. And there's this one, what I'm using, which is the RTL SDR V3. And be careful where you purchase it because there's a lot of fakes out there. The V3 version that I purchased from the RTL SDR website is capable of shortwave. It goes down to, I believe, 1 megahertz on medium wave and is a little different. It has uh, TCXO, which is a kind of high precision um, frequency control unit that makes it more precise. It's still a cheap RTL SDR. It's, it's still a cheap device. And for shortwave, it's okay. It's nothing more than okay. Lots of spurious signals. But on VHF UHF, I am surprised at its performance. What you're hearing here is coming from more than 100 miles away, which is the Burlington, Vermont, NOAA Weather Channel. Uh, across the US border. So it gives you an idea of how um, the performance is kind of surprising for such a device. Now you see here there's a lot of low spurious signals everywhere and that's typical of this device. I'm gonna show you a few things in the, diff in the next videos on um, how to manage its uh, AGC, the automatic, automatic gain control. There's different AGCs that are available, including automatic AGCs from the device itself or a manual AGC. I'm also going to show you how to manage the display that you see so that actually it looks and uh, has the gain and the look and the feel of what you want. So this is uh, this is maritime uh, coast guard here. Uh, so to you know make sure that you have a, a, a waterfall in a display that looks more like you want. Uh, also the colors and the things that are changing, and this is going to be done with SDR Sharp. SDR Sharp was its own autonomous open source software at some point. It has been from what I see. Um, taken over by AirSpy, that does of course the AirSpy HF Plus, and we're going to slowly examine this week a lot of the features, including over the next week's plugins that you can use for different listening on the 30 megahertz and above website website uh, spectrum of frequency. So hope that you enjoy what we do and that. My explanations will be as simple as possible, and uh, we'll be looking at how to play around with this software. It has changed somewhat from when I used it way back in the days, and um, it seems to be, I don't know, I, I have an impression that I kind of like it a little more. It seems to be a little better than it was in the original uh, version of it, but, uh, you know. There's a lot of software that can actually run the RTL SDR software uh, dongles. And uh, we're, of course, going to be looking at this first. But there will be probably uh, looks at other software. And I think a lot of you want to have some help here on what is this. So look at the videos uh, next 
week, this week actually, and in the next few weeks, I think there's going to be a lot of videos where we're going to take a look at the software. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching the VHF UHF channel.